3650 squad. We square jobs, make a check game. The secret sauce, 3650 squad. We square jobs, make a check game. The secret sauce, get out your ledger and pull the contract. Take for 10 years, that's how we stack. See my post chain, see my Cadillac. It's the, the job bug. We don't know where it's at. What's up, what's up, everybody, and welcome to EMP Money. My name is AJ, I am the team lead here, and this is our live AMA. We come to you every Monday and Thursday at 6.45 p.m. Eastern with all the latest updates, not only now about EMP and our ecosystem, but also about the entire uh, franchise that we're building here. So uh, without further ado, I also want to introduce my uh, fellow team members and co-hosts uh with the most uh la and jake la how are you today i'm amazing how are you i'm good la finally trying to feel a little bit better i uh am turning the corner as all of you know i've been battling some sickness but uh doing good and we're ready for a killer week we have a ton of updates uh and yeah jake we uh we had a great developer meeting today jake how are you bro uh things are on track huh yeah, very good, very good, man. Glad to hear you're back on on the horse and ready to kick some ass. Yeah, brother, absolutely. I know we uh we got to get that AMA train rolling again. You uh did an amazing job filling in for uh, me in the in the uh, short term, and now we're gonna ramp it up. We got a lot to talk about with CEO and Spark and obviously Fusion and everything that we're doing. So uh, awesome, bro. All right, well, we're gonna start with a. Just kind of an overview of the market. I know, uh, you know, over the last few days, it's definitely been a, a bit of a bloodbath, both uh, overall, you know, geopolitical wise, uh, you know, stock market wise, and now bleeding into crypto. Uh, but I do want to kind of just kind of take a step back and really uh, look at the bigger picture because, you know, historically speaking, we always see the sort of volatility uh, pre happening, and we are you know, about four days away from the Bitcoin halving. And when that happens, you know, uh, we have seen these sort of drops. And typically, it, it's right on point to signify some of the last opportunities to buy, you know, below market value. And we've seen not only alts, but blue chips really, uh, you know, be impacted. And I think that this could be one of the last opportunities to really load up before we go. And you know, uh, more specifically, in our case, uh, you know, with our franchises, uh, DexFi, EMP, uh, GX, eShare, EMP, all those have hold, held up really well uh, over the dip. Even CEO uh, was impacted the least, I think, in terms of alts. And, you know, obviously Pulse is the, uh, the one that's been hurting the most. But I, I think that, again, we we have to take a step back and really understand what's happening and you know i think that again we've said it many times love him or hate him richard hart has been a real pioneer for crypto and he is doing a lot more for crypto than many founders uh uh you know do in terms of regulation and the battling with the sec and unfortunately i think that he has you know, forced to be more silent than we would hope. Um, but all that could change in a matter of moments when there is a ruling. Uh, you know, we see 
pulse bounce back. We see, you know, uh, the community stop infighting. I know there was a huge campaign today uh, uh, on the uh, United uh, Emirates uh, Airline where they were showing uh, the highest of states, which is the Richard Hart documentary. So he is definitely working in the background. And I think that as we continue to see, you know, things expand and the network itself uh, starts, you know, working again. I know today was the first day that Pulse really didn't have a lot of gas problems. So that's another uh, good time. I think everything will eventually come back. So we're, we're still super bullish uh, on Pulse, even though, you know, right now there's a lot of volatility. And we have a lot of things in the works, including, you know, Spark 404, uh, other uh, revenue for Sparkler and Perps. Uh, so I think we're, we're, we're going to get that for sure. But uh, LA, is there anything you want to add to that, or Jay? I think you, you got a good sum on it. I think also not only just uh, the having uh, cycle, tax day is coming up in the U.S. anyway. That's uh, for sure. typically every, every year uh, – Around tax time, everyone's got to uh, um, settle up, and they don't want to. They don't want to carry their profits into the next year, um, come, especially coming up on the bull run. So, um, yeah, but I think a lot of a lot of good things in the in the hopper here for us. Yeah, no doubt. Tax loss harvesting. I know. Yeah, that's another factor. We uh, and again, I think overall, you know, as long as we continue to build products that have you know product market fit, i.e., perps, bridges. Uh, marketplaces, you know, swaps, uh, DEXs. I mean, no matter what happens, as long as there are some users, we are we are still, you know, winning. So, uh, again, I, I think that people get a little scared, a little emotional, and that's okay. Uh, but over the long run, we're still in a really great position. And, you know, we are diversifying. I think that's another really important factor as well. We don't have all of our eggs in the pulse basket uh, anymore, so to speak. Uh, now that we're, we're bridging to Manta and, you know, uh, 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 X1 through uh, Swap X, which we'll talk about uh, in a minute. But, yeah, I mean, let's maybe talk a little bit about CEO uh, and Manta, Jake. I think, uh, obviously, things are uh, on a little bit of a pullback, but overall, uh, burning is still looking great. The 404s are holding it. Price, I don't know if you're going to give a little update. Yeah, everything's um, everything moving along uh, nicely. Yeah, of course, there's a little pullback, um, but, you know, that's expected. Uh, the emissions token was up, you know, 4 or 5x on CETO. Uh, the uh, the GCETO was up 1,000%, 10x. Um, so, uh, you know, and then obviously ETH lost 20%, 20 30% of its value. <laughs> so, um yeah, I mean, there's some pullback expected, but the mechanics are working, you know, as intended. Uh, there's really not a whole lot of supply uh, being uh, put in the market still. Everyone's everyone's still burning, um, and honestly, the GC though has been paying, um, you know, upwards of like one percent daily, and that's literally just the reflections. That doesn't even we haven't even started with the uh, with like the the real yield payouts. Um, but all that starts this week. Um, the vaults will be up um, either today or tomorrow. Um, the full, uh, 404 automation re revenue automation will be up, uh, by the end of the week. Um, and I think perps, uh, the, the Matt, uh, Manta perp version, uh, will be probably the following week. So we are, uh, we're really close to kind of tying it all up. Amazing, bro. Yeah, no doubt. I know we had a great, uh, developer meeting today, uh, as a whole and yeah, lots of updates on the CEDO side, especially the marketplace. It sounds like. We're getting really close with that. I know people have been asking for uh, the 404 locker uh, as well. And, you know, really, again, talking about product market fit, having a marketplace that actually uh, allows for 404 reflections was groundbreaking, right? I mean, that was a heavy lift that we didn't really know yeah. about, right? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, I forgot about that completely, actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, in, the, in this context. Um, sure. Yeah, that was wild, man. That's wild. We uh, we definitely weren't expecting to have to, to make our own marketplace. Um, you know, like we do have whitelist functions on the contracts that, you know, we were planning on just whitelisting for the marketplaces. But yeah, I guess um, I mean, it, it doesn't completely surprise me. 
a lot of the stuff we do is is a bleeding edge um you know so it got basically just came down to uh the fact that uh, we couldn't really rely on these third party marketplaces um but i think in the end in the you know in, in the end and um you know we're just it's just another just another another vertical that we can tackle now um you know obviously not not only just 404 but you know i already have like two or three projects that have uh have hit me up today. If you're going to launch a, a marketplace, you know, I got some, I, I'd like to launch with you. I got, I got some, I have some ideas and I have some, you know, some projects. So, um, and honestly that people don't even come to me for the DEXs that much. <laughs> I already got like two or three NFT projects. I run sure. So, you know, and, and of course, you know, obviously we're building it for the 404 Manta, but you know, like I said, it's uh, another piece to the, uh, to the franchise, um, you know, that I'll, that we'll have, you know, kind of in the, in the bag, for you know to bring back to spark um you know it'll probably be uh some bonus features that'll be added on to um uh fusion mark fusion kind of marketplace um and then you know moving forward anywhere else that we go we'll, we'll just kind of have that done honestly and we're, 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 we're running out of verticals to to build on man that's how it goes we're right? of, yeah. we uh yeah, no, I mean, it's great you know? yeah we we uh we don't we don't like to stay in our lane, right? We uh we pick every every vertical we can. And yeah, but I mean to your point though, I mean that is what is gonna set us apart because you know, as long as we are capitalizing on the actual product market fit of what these chains need, I mean that there is no other better business model and you know, built in users because we're providing a solution that isn't out there right now. And, you know, uh, again, we'll, we'll, we have a lot of questions at the end. We can go into more specifics, but, you know, I think that we found a great uh, uh, niche, so to speak, in these lesser developed chains. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking for us uh, to maybe look at Blast or Base uh, or other, you know, uh, chains. Uh, obviously, a lot of this tech we're hoping to implement at one X as well. Um, and again, it's a great way for us to get exposure, uh, provide actual uh, products for these chains, provide the infrastructure, and then bring all of that value back to our, again, conglomerate rather than, you know, just getting rich uh, as devs, because the whole idea is that we support our ecosystems through uh, this real revenue. So, I mean, I'm so bullish on that. And I think it's only going to get better as we move into the full bull. You know, after uh, after the summer, we usually see, you know, an amazing pickup. And we're already ahead of schedule in terms of Bitcoin price. So, I mean, who knows? And once we see the overall market start to really heat up, uh, then we see the interest start to really go back into all the L2s uh, and all the alts, which will be primed uh, for all that. So uh, super, super exciting. And uh, all right, so a little bit more about 404. We are, we also had a, lar- a long discussion uh, uh, today on a Spark 404. We are putting that in motion. Again, we've kind of sat back and, and observed what worked, what what maybe we could improve uh, with, you know, the CEO 404s. Uh, uh, honestly, it's been pretty flawless. So we're going to implement a lot of, you know, uh, that we've learned from that into the Spark 404. The reflections are a game changer, uh, and that will allow us to burn more Spark uh, and not impact or only positively impact uh, Sparkler. Because, again, we won't have the, uh, the separate revenue because everything goes through Sparkler. But the fact that we're able to burn more Spark and actually give another earning opportunity through reflections could massively increase the value of Spark itself, which again has all the same effects that we've seen on CEO with the higher APR, uh, higher uh, you know uh, payouts, uh, and and ultimately less dilution uh, in Sparkler as well. So we don't have a time frame on that. We are working on the artwork and the uh, you know, infrastructure next, but it could be, you know, fairly soon uh, that we see the Spark 404, uh, and we'll, we'll have a lot more info on that as it gets closer. We'll also have opportunity for those uh, that got their Sparkies 
uh, to maybe get some early access. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff uh, in, in that regards as well. But, um, and then, yeah. Back, yeah, go ahead, Jay. Yeah, just jump in on that, on the 404 real quick. I think, um, you know, all, everything, everything that we're bringing over, the burn mechanics, all that, everything helps to, um, you know, combat, combat inflation and, and uh, bolster the ecosystem. But honestly, I think, we've had such a warm reception to the, the 404. Um, I think it, I think it actually gives us an opportunity to um, reach more people just even on pulse chain, right? Like the, sure. the volume and the, you know, everything, everything's been so great that like, I, I have no doubt that we'll, um, you know, we'll, we'll start breaking the charts on, on pulse and that's just going to be seen by more people and, and attract more eyeballs to the ecosystem as a well. whole. Yeah, no, I agree a hundred percent. Again, we, uh, there really, I mean, there's been a few 404s, obviously nothing to the caliber that we've, you know, reverse engineered now uh, and really created our own 404 standard. Uh, but yeah, I mean, to your point, that could bring a whole nother avenue of eyeballs even. I mean, once we see uh, the 404 climbing and the only way to buy it is to have spark uh, or burn spark rather, be spark, uh, then that again creates a whole nother wave of interest and then people go, oh, man, I remember Spark. I forgot about it. Or, you know, they were in earlier. Maybe they maybe they are still involved, but they didn't know we had perps and they didn't know we had vaults. And now, you know, we bring all these brand new, uh, all this brand new interest back. And on that note, LA, do you want to give an update on some AMAs we have? We have a lot that we've been booking for sure. Yeah, um, we have been focusing on some bigger influencers and groups now. Um, so as opposed to uh, booking like 15 more uh, for uh, CETA, we're just working on getting some, uh, a few quite larger ones now with, with a lot bigger audiences. So um, we are in the process of just finalizing those and uh, you should see them on the schedule pretty soon here. Yep, 100%. So we have, again, not only CEDO that we're pushing, we're going to be pushing Fusion uh, as we gear up for that. And then also uh, along the way, we're doing perps both on Manta and on Pulse. So there's plenty of coverage and we're, you know, we're going to regroup with all the major players that we have uh, have relationships with as we continue to push. And again, the timing can be really good because uh, along with, you know, the, the marketing and we see, you know, all the new rollouts of what we're doing. Uh, people understand that we have only built and delivered everything that we said we were going to do. All of that matters over time. So uh, I think we have a really great uh, another uh, leg up and, and momentum uh, coming out of the happening for sure. So, uh, all right, awesome. And then uh, another bullish update, Jake, I don't know, maybe you can touch a little bit on this without going into too much detail from a security standpoint, but we are upgrading the bridge. And with that bridge technology, that will allow us to bridge, uh, again, not only from uh, 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 BSD and ARB to Pulse, BSD to ARB to Manta, but now also Pulse to Manta. So uh, we had some updates on that uh, in our developer chat today. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Jake? I know it's been working really well for the Manta bridge. Yeah. So um, when we when we set up the Manta the Manta bridges, um, we we did some upgrades. Um, it, it operates uh, fairly like from a user perspective, it you won't notice too much, except for um, you know maybe a little a little faster. Uh, probably a lot less, um, a lot less uh, interruptions or um, you know errors, things like that. Um, this uh, the newer system gives us a little more flexibility um, with like maintenance and things like that, um, and the framework's a little bit a um, little bit more solid. So um, yeah, I, I, again, we don't we don't want to go into too much uh, to give the bad actors a bad you know a, an angle on us, but um, it it's definitely an upgrade for sure. Um, and coming, I believe, uh, what would we say, like this Thursday should be maybe starting at least to, to transition over. Um, there might be a, a, a day or two, a couple of days of, um, you know, some, some testing involved. But, um, yeah, we're really close to upgrading uh, the Pulse, Pulse site as well. Uh, and that'll be, that'll be Pulse, Arbitrum, and BNB, as, you know, at the same time. 
uh, in addition to adding uh, Manta to Pulse as well. Amazing. Yeah, good stuff. So again, that all we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to Spark uh, UI in a minute. But yeah, that's all part of the rollout this week. Uh, and again, more more uh, opportunity, more more potential users, more uh, fees for the bridge. I mean, again, all of the above uh, in terms of just adding more and more options as we continue to build everything out. So. Uh, all right, awesome. And then last but not least, in terms of Cedo, again, I know because the marketplace uh, was a bit of a heavy lift and we also wanted to actually have some auto vaults that allow you to earn more uh, 404s, which I think is super sick. Uh, in terms of like a custom uh, ETF uh, for the Manta vaults, you want to talk a little bit about that uh, and maybe a timeline? I know we're hoping for this week uh, we were hoping last week, but I think this week is probably more realistic, right, Jake? Yeah, um, we uh, yeah, I, we're actually closer than you think. Uh, either tomorrow or the day after, probably. Um, we'll we'll uh, we'll make an official announcement and um, probably do another uh, uh, like a like a deep deep dive walkthrough. Um, you know, for anyone who missed the kind of the, some of the spark ones um, and more a little more manta specific. But um, yeah, we're really close on those. Um, yeah, we got we got a little. We weren't like I said, we, we weren't expecting to have to build a marketplace, so um, that we had to take a little time for that this past week. Um, but yeah, though, that's the the vaults will be here you know, within the next day or two. Um, and and yeah, part of that also was uh, creating uh, this like new ETFs and new new take profits that actually include uh, the four hundred four. Um, and again, this is like specifically designed to just constantly burn. Um, CEDO, um and pump the price of GCDO basically. Um, you know, some pretty advanced advanced stuff to kind of include a, a burner in addition to a swap, all in the same same LP transaction uh, sure. you know, type of thing. So, so uh, lots going on, but yeah, we've uh, we've we've gotten down to it. Um, like I said, that should be ready in a couple of days, and then like I said, the perps uh, probably the following week. Amazing, great, great stuff. All right, cool. And again, just so everybody knows, I mean this infrastructure that we implement can all be easily migrated over to Pulse as well. So when we do have the 404s, uh, Spark 404s, uh, everything that we talk about with CEDO and you know the, the bullish uh, economics, uh, that should easily be implemented uh, on the Pulse side too. So meaning again, having a way to automatically uh, uh, use your vaults to earn more uh, Spark 404s uh, just like you rode with CO404. So uh, I think that alone could do some pretty crazy things. We've never, uh, again, I mean, we, we're on the bleeding edge here and we've never seen a way to auto compound into a 404 token. I mean, the, the volume alone uh, on that gets me excited. And then to have it done seamlessly, uh, you know, up to what, every hour <laughs> could be pretty insane, right, Jake? Yeah, yeah, man. Um, especially if it's burning, you know, it's burning the whole time. Um, yeah, it's super bullish. Awesome stuff. All right, man. Uh, all right. So moving on to Swap X, uh, we've had a lot of uh, bullish uh, sentiment around that. The pre-sale sold out in record time. Obviously, it didn't really go uh, according to plan from the guaranteed perspective, but. Regardless, uh, it sold out. So, uh, Ellie, you want to give a quick update uh, on that? I think uh, I sure. don't know. Uh, we we we're getting close. I think X one. Uh, I've heard through the grapevine. It might be here within a week or two. So, go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't have a ton of updates, but um, we are just hearing that the chain is going live, uh, possibly within the next week or two. So the Swap X team is busy behind the scenes preparing for the launch. Um, and we'll just keep you guys updated with all the details as soon as we have them. So keep an ear out and watch our pinned announcements. And um, whenever we get updates, um, we will make sure to notify all you guys. Perfect. Yeah. And that, that plays right into, again, the bridge infrastructure that we mentioned a little bit ago. Uh, obviously, you know, we're hoping to have... Uh, everything ready to roll. It may be uh, not on the day that the chain goes live, but 
will be very shortly behind with an additional bridging option through Swap X that now will also complete the the uh, the, the the next route, so to speak. Uh, so Manta, Pulse, Arb, BNB, and then X Fun. So that's super bullish. Uh, again, and adds yet another way uh, to swap uh, from chain to chain, and on a on a on a network that you know you know is trustless and decentralized. And that I guess is probably a good segue to uh, over the last week. You know, uh, the main PLS bridge uh, went down for the first time uh, ever, I think, or at least for the longest amount of time ever. Uh, and that that just goes to show the kind of panic. Uh, that can happen when bridges go down. So, you know, obviously we, uh, we we prioritize the bridge because it's a way for us to get great product market fit, but it's also vital for the functioning uh, of a blockchain. And, you know, when the bridges go down, it can create some major panic. So uh, we were able to, to fight that off. Uh, we had some sleepless nights, uh, moving money around, making sure we have plenty of liquidity, uh, you know, uh, SDI uh, and DAI are, are peg uh, held pretty well. Um, and now we're actually incentivizing uh, even a higher LP rewards on SDI, DAI, uh, on Spark, uh, because we want to make sure we have enough liquidity uh, to, to facilitate the volume. I mean, the volume on the bridge has still been pretty substantial. Uh, and we're, you know, we were the go-to bridge once the main bridge went down, uh, which is a good time for sure. So, uh, yeah, uh, anything you want to add to that, uh, Jake or LA? No, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head there. Um, I don't know what else I would add to that. Cool. Uh, I'll maybe just, I mean, real quick, um, you know, there was, uh, you know, when, when, like you, like you mentioned, when things, um, things don't work properly, sometimes people panic. Um, I think I think it's always good to just um, let cooler heads prevail. Sometimes you know, there's never there's. I mean, sometimes you need to act fast, fast sure. But um, you know, uh, trust in the team. Like, you know, there's never there's never any. Even if the bridges were to go down, um, all the all the SDI, all the US Dex is still backed um, on other chains. So um, you know, never uh, never a, a real reason to panic in in that regard. Um, you know, like I said, we we were able to act fast and um you know keep pegging all that so it wasn't a you know it wasn't a catastrophic event in you know my opinion but um you know when things like that happen you know feel free to ask questions and stuff don't necessarily have to completely panic yeah no i agree and again we the fact that we are uh expanding again now us tax is on multiple networks obviously that's the die backing for both uh binance and uh and pulse I mean, the more that we're able to expand, it is kind of taking some of that uh, risk off the table as well. Uh, because again, as long as we have deep liquidity over multiple areas, there's a lot less failure points. And uh, that is part of our design uh, overall. And you know, we're just gonna continue to both adding POL or protocol owned liquidity that is within the bridge that we can you know, uh, continue to do larger and larger uh, swaps, uh, as well as, again, incentivizing those of you that are uh, part of the ecosystem with high APR to provide liquidity. I mean, we, again, the SDI DAI LP is about 61% the last I looked. That is like some of the top APR on stables in all of crypto. So, uh, you know, if you do have some stables, that you just want to earn on, uh, please consider adding more LP to the SDI DAI, uh, and that directly impacts our ability to, you know, use the bridge and uh, keep everything healthy. So, uh, all right, awesome. Uh, all right, I think that is it. Oh, about Spark now. Uh, the new UI, I know uh, we, uh, we showed some screenshots. Uh, we're, we thought we'd have it ready on Friday, but again, we just had a lot going on. Uh, but 100%, we will have the new UI this week, uh, and it is spectacular. So, yeah, I know LA and Jake, uh, all of us have seen it. We've been uh, beta testing. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm bullish on the new UI. It looks way more professional, for sure. 
Yeah, yes. 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 one of the uh, alphas we're dropping today. I know you guys are on here waiting for alpha, but new UI this week, so get ready. Yeah, hundred percent. And I guess maybe work for it, Jake. Uh, we talked about it a little bit uh, a little bit ago, but uh, with the new UI, we're also going to have some more functionality. Uh, I know we a lot of you that maybe are using other wallets other than uh, Ravi or MetaMask were having some connectivity issues. Uh, all of those repos will be updated, so it should be a lot more uh, user friendly, a lot faster, a lot smoother. A lot and then smoother. maybe also talk then, about yeah, also uh, talk the bridge uh, UI, uh, Jake. I mean, that's exciting too. Yeah. Um, so you know, obviously the the V1 um, was uh, you know from the uh, you know the PCS kind of V2 structure um, that kind of has been forked out over and over again <laughs> over the For years. Sure. Um, so the, the 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 V2 version that we're launching uh, this week, uh, it's been completely refactored. Um, you know, we and also tested on on Manta. That's basically what we did over there. Um, so you know, we've already not only have we upgraded and refactored, but we've also uh, worked through all the you know all the the any of the last bugs and things like that. So yeah, it should be um, should be super smooth and seamless. Um, you know, like you mentioned, you know, any of the connectivity issues and stuff like that um, should all work really well. Um, even like the switching between, you know, uh, like the farm, you know, the farms and and um, home pages and per perpetuals and stuff like that is all uh, a lot more seamless as well. Um, and we're even getting some some additional upgrades, um, things like um, like for the perpetuals. There'll be like um, you know new modals to share your trades afterwards and things like that. So uh, definitely a lot of a lot of new stuff. Yeah, no doubt a lot of more again uh, functionality and uh, socials. I mean, like you said, a modal to be able to share your your winning trade. Uh, what else? Oh, the the bridge too. So that and this might not be ready uh, immediately, but as soon as we make the upgrades on the uh, the bridge itself in terms of the functionality. Uh, the ultimate goal is that you're at, well, you'll actually be able to track your uh, bridging uh, on on the site. So right now, again, you can see through DBank or any of the uh, on-chain explorers, uh, but a lot of people don't know that. Obviously, we did some videos to highlight that, but it's still a, a big ask uh, to have somebody go and look it up. So now you eventually will be able to see you know, where your transaction is uh, in the process right on the website. Right, Jake? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's um, in the works for sure. Cool. Because I think the whole process is just becoming more seamless and a better user experience. So, you know, we're always kind of adding to that to that goal, that end. Yep, 100%. Awesome. Uh, all right. And then obviously we're going to be featuring uh, our, our mascot, Sparky, uh, in all his glory. So, uh, yeah, we had a lot of cool stuff. Uh, in the works. So, uh, all right. Anything else about Spark, uh, LA or Jake? Uh, I think that's I'll it see. from the end. Yeah, we, like I said, we, I think everyone's going to be real happy by the end of the week. Um, some big, it's a, a lot of the things we do are not as noticeable, right? It's like a, a lot of just finite, you know, fine, fine tuning back end stuff. But uh, this is something everyone's going to, everyone's going to be happy to put a new bookmark on. <laughs> Yeah, hundred percent. Awesome. All right, and then last but not least, and then we're going to some other uh, questions. We got a lot of uh, questions. That's why I want to have Jake on today to uh, to be here from the horse's mouth in terms of Skido and other stuff. But uh, other than that, we have EMP Fusion. So again, I know uh, a lot of you are here for that alpha. It's been ongoing, and uh, the exciting news today is again. Uh, it's pretty much finished. So we're, uh, you know, we had a great developer meeting today. Uh, team members are now testing Fusion. Uh, all the contracts are live. We are doing all the final internal testing. Uh, and then after that, we will open it up to our small group of beta testers. Uh, and, you know, once that happens, that's pretty much go time. So this is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> well, we need to back this up because you just... <laughs> Uh, you just read that out when I said it like so nonchalantly, like <laughs> any other announcement, like 
Like, I don't even know if they were paying attention. I, I, I sprung it on them, LA. All right, why don't you, why don't you do it? You do such a good job. Let's hear it. Let's hype it up. Go ahead. Like, I don't even know if they noticed that it was anything special that you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll try again. How about that? So, uh, Let's see if they were paying attention. I don't see anything in the chat. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, the news of the day, we're going into team testing for Fusion. Um, Let's and go. when the team, <laughs> uh, so our whole team is going to be testing Fusion this week. Um, and when we're done with the team, we're going to be moving to our small group of trusted beta testers. So, um, this is pretty big fucking news, guys. Uh, I know this is what you've been waiting for outside of the actual date, but once we give the thumbs up on these rounds of testing, we'll pretty much be right there and ready to announce the date. So, uh, let's fucking go. I love it. There you go. Well, I, uh, I, yeah. uh, I think that's bullish. Again, uh, leave it to me to mess up our one of our most important uh, updates, right? I, I uh, wasn't but, yeah. I, I wasn't meaning you were messing up. I'm sorry. Oh. I was just like, let's fucking do this with more excitement. I love it, LA. No, no doubt. So, no, I agree. Again, all of us want this more than any of you ever could imagine. So it's been a long time coming, and you know we're finally uh, we're finally feeling you know the the fruits of our labor, uh, and we just we can't wait to share it. With all of you, I know it's been frustrating, but it could not be more bullish. And and really, even more so than that, and again, uh, having Jake here is a great uh, uh, segue. You know, I, I think that we, we could not have delivered uh, a, a, a more robust product with Fusion had it not been for the Dexfy team and all the incredible brains that finally brought Fusion life i mean we've been working on it now you know for months and months but the the most work happens you know at the very very end and you know uh i think everything happens for a reason and now we're super confident that fusion will be everything that we uh we want it to be uh and we have the infrastructure and the revenue streams to support it and make it successful so uh, I know, again, Jake, you've been uh, uh, on the team trying to get out the door, and uh, we're finally almost there, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to be uh, happy to be a part of it. Um, you know, I know it was a big endeavor. It's been it's been an ongoing process, but um, I, uh, I'll i vouch for uh, I'll vouch for everything. Uh, all the, the hype train coming up here, we are we are sure. super close. Um, you know, I've seen it with my own eyes. It's uh, it's pretty cool. And it's it's going to be it's going to be ready for all y'all very soon. Amazing stuff. And we said all along that we're going to have a two week lead up so that everybody knows what Fusion is. We'll uh, announce a date uh, that is 100% set in stone. Um, and, you know, all of you that have been part of the community and are already loading up uh, and have already packed your bags, you know, that you, you are getting first access. Uh, but we have an entire campaign uh, around uh, Fusion launch. And then a follow-up campaign uh, once Fusion is actually live. So that two-prong approach uh, and, you know, all the other mechanisms in play, including sacrifice and reducing liquidity, we feel like not only are we going to be able to recover PEG, uh, and that alone will be a newsworthy event. Uh, and, and really, the timing, you know, we, we didn't intentionally delay, uh, but the timing is going to be very powerful moving into the next few weeks you know uh, after having and uh hopefully the momentum of the overall markets uh as well so uh yeah good stuff uh, all right anything else we're gonna add about fusion la no i think uh, i think that's it for the announcement awesome stuff all right well there you go we're uh we'll we'll have more updates this week uh, oh we have a we have a, a quest for a bow, 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 bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly that's what i was missing that's what i needed <laughs> for our announcement i love it so uh, all right awesome well uh and then one more thing too uh i know a lot of you have been asking about 
uh, Splat token, uh, uh, Splat with hat. Uh, that is a uh, token that I've been asked to be a advisor on. Uh, we are excited. We just had a new all-time high. Uh, that is a philanthropy-based uh, token on uh, uh, Solana. So make sure that you're following all the socials. Uh, we'll do some more updates on that uh, as well. Uh, but there's a lot going on in that ecosystem uh, from the same developer that brought you ERS and Abyss. Uh, Troy, he's a great guy. We have a lot of devs uh, that are trusted, uh, that are going to be working on Splat. Um, so definitely check that out uh, as well. So, uh, all right. Do you want to go into some Q&A? LA, I know we had a lot while Jake is here. Yeah, we have a lot. Pretty much all of them are the same topic matter, and they're for both of you regarding 404, Cedo, Elven Dex, and melding them all together. So let's dive into them. All Perfect. right. Um, all right, let's find those. Okay. Any plans to do what was done with Cedo Swap with Spark as well? A Spark 404. Cedo Swap 404s were very successful. Okay. What, we're going to skip that because you already went over that. Uh, we'll get more into these um, more specific ones. Um, after the success of Spark Swap and Cedo Swap, are you looking at any other chains? Also, what are the chances of a 404 on L1 deck? Yeah, so I, I'll kind of chime in, and then, uh, Jake, I mean, I'm happy to have you uh, maybe say or not say, uh, so we have some plausible deniability uh, here. But, yeah, I mean, we, we're definitely looking at other chains. I mean, I think uh, if there was one that we wanted to, to go to next, uh, I think it would probably be base. I mean, we, we've we seen a lot of uh, momentum on base, obviously the backing of Coinbase, uh, and, you know, maybe even having some meme, uh, more meme style uh, 404s over there. Uh, maybe not a full on, you know, uh, protocol like we have with, with Cedo, uh and, and Spark, but definitely some exposure uh, to base. I think that would be the next logical step. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know, uh, again, what, what, we, what kind of alpha we want to drop. But obviously, once we get access to, you know, L1X and, and, and the code is what it, we think it is, uh, it, it should be fairly easy to implement, you know, any sort of 404 uh, mechanisms or any uh, other, everything that we've built uh, now, theoretically, would still be applicable uh, to L1X. So, yeah, again, you want to add to that, Jake? Yeah, I think... Um, um... There's a couple of things uh, you got to remember when we're planning out the next moves. Um, the first, first of all, we don't want to, we don't necessarily want to, we, we always want to expand, of course, uh, but we don't want to um, sacrifice, you know, quality or, um, you know, potential polish and expansion, like uh, internal expansion, things, our own products, right? Um, you know, obviously we, we, we just launched um, Cedo that's like less than a month old or a month old, let's say. Um, now we have to bring some of that tech back to SparkSwap. Um, you know, the perp, perps still have to come out, vaults still have to come out. Um, so there, there is, um, you know, there's still a decent amount on the table. Um, obviously with L1X, um, we're kind of in a holding pattern at the moment. So um, if, uh, you know, if and when, you know, whenever that, whenever we get the, you know, the, the full open source code, and the tools we need, you know, regarding infrastructure, um, we'll we'll probably have to go back, spend, you know, devote more more development resources to that to make sure that you know it's everything that we've, um, you know, everything that we've discussed it was it was going to be, um, you know, and we're we're real confident in that regard. But you know, it, again, it's going to take time. Um, you know, we've been we've been focusing a lot um, on the early stage of development on, um, you know, the decks itself, but. Obviously, you know, we want to bring the whole the whole franchise there as well. Um, but in terms of, um, you know, actual, you know, further expansion, I think AJ is right. There's definitely uh, an opportunity on base. Um, personally, I, I've had, uh, you know, I, I've had a lot. We've had a lot of um, a lot of interest in Blast. 
Um, again, I don't know. I don't know if, if if we. I don't know if it's worthy of a full a full um full franchise. But you know, that's the best part about you know our you know the ecosystem we have now is you know we we can kind of pick and choose what we want to you know, want to bring. Um, you know, whether it's just the perps or you know vaults things like that, or if it's the whole four if it's the whole the whole franchise or maybe just a four hundred four token. Um, I also uh, I'll, I'll give you a little alpha. I just I just submitted a. Uh, application to mode for their um for their um uh feeder program basically nice. so you know we're um you know at the moment like i said at the moment there's there's enough on the plate to keep us busy for a little while um we're always you know we're opportunists right we're always looking for a uh an edge or a, a a new place to expand to but you know again we, we want to make sure that what we have is um you know as good as it can be and you know as the as the opportunities come up we'll you know, we'll make the decision from there. Yeah, no doubt. I love it. And again, I agree. We, you know, I think everybody gets excited with the, the success and the momentum. Uh, but there is something to be said for, you know, trying to do too much too soon. Uh, and I think once we really, you know, solidify everything that we've learned, you know, with this new uh, 4 mechanism, we get fusion finished, we get everything in place to where we can just simply, you know, feed the, the beast. Uh, that is where, you know, it gets exciting because then, you know, not only are we uh, feeding, you know, EMP, eShare, GDEX, Spark, uh, you know, Cedo, but now we can do that without, you know, sacrificing the momentum uh, of, of what we've already built. We can just add to it. So, yeah, I think that's a great plan. And, you know, the, as much as we are used to, you know, crypto being a fast-paced environment, I mean, we we accomplish things faster than any other dev team out there. So uh, I know that people get excited, but uh, there's plenty of time uh, to, to expand for sure. Well, I also, I think not only just, um, like I said, not only just the expansion of the entire ecosystem, but, um, you know, parts of it, like, um, I think there's there's still a, a ton of money on the table with the perpetuals. You know, like we, we haven't even we haven't even sure. scratched the surface on just on just pulse chain. You know what I mean? Like technically we're still kind of in beta, right? Like there's still a lot of money that, on the table um, that you know just pulse chain alone, and then you know moving to Manta, like those kind of you know that kind of thing. Like um, that's more product based than something like an exchange where you know we have to worry about inflation and um, you know, there's more variables there, I guess, um, you know, uh, something like the perps is a great example of something that, you know, that, that's the kind of stuff we could put on, you know, 10 chains over the next couple, a couple months. Um, you know, if the, if the desire was there and, you know, we, we make an effort to do that. Yep. hundred percent. Well, and again, I mean, we, we see back to the whole product market fit, uh, argument again, you know, I was just reading an article, uh, with the volatility, uh, over the last few days that a lot of these other centralized perps platforms they are they're they're stopping people out they're freezing withdrawals you know they are uh they're gatekeeping uh a, a ton of different you know things that are meant to be decentralized and and you will never have to worry about that you know with our fully decentralized platform and once people really start to understand that you know, I think that it's super powerful because, you know, we, we are putting the power back into uh, the user's hands where we're not reliant on, you know, a centralized uh, service like 99% of these other perps platforms are. Uh, and, and, and once people, again, see how flawless and seamless it works, uh, it, it, will, it will only lead to more users for sure. Yeah, 100%. Cool. All right, next question. Yeah, was that question one? Damn. Yeah, yeah there's a <laughs> bunch. <laughs> they're oh they're all God. along similar oh, topic yeah. matters, though. Okay, so if you do bring 404s to Spark Swap, would you consider airdropping Spark or B Spark to those that stake for a maximum of 10 years? This not only rewards users that staked for the maximum, but also encourages others to stake for maximum between now and the time of launch. This also allows those that stake for the maximum to get into 404s. Yeah, you want to 
start with that, Jake. I know we've been brainstorming, you know, on the actual mechanisms, but um, what are your thoughts? Well, I, um, I think if I understand that correctly, um, I think what they're referring to is allowing, um, allowing sparkler folks that are, that are extending their, their locks to get earlier access maybe, or some, some part, partial, yeah, that's, that, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Is that what they're saying oh, is yeah. um, uh, the people that buy 404s who also have maximum stakes in Sparkler, would you be airdropping Spark or B-Spark? Or sorry, um, uh, would you uh, Spark or B-Spark or whatever the um, 404 token uh, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Let me, so, yeah, let me, I'll, I'll kind of recap and then, Jake, if you can expand just based on, you know, the mechanisms we have in place. But the whole idea is that the only way to get the Spark 404 is by burning Spark. So just like with Cedo, you have to actually burn Cedo. You get what's called b Cedo, which represents your burn uh, uh, commitment. And then that is what you use to buy the actual 404. So the whole idea is that we don't have to airdrop, uh, you know, and obviously airdropping the, the spark would have to come from somewhere. So that really doesn't help. Uh, and and we, we would much rather just incentivize people to burn spark on their own to get a future reward in uh, in the, the 404. And the revenue, again, because we already have the revenue going to Sparkler, we don't really, we, we can't afford to dilute that anymore. Um, so the real, uh, 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 the real value in the 404 is the reflections. So you can essentially earn more 404s uh, by having 404s, and that is the APR, so to speak, uh, that drives the value of four of fours and then on top of that you know we can choose to you know buy and burn more four of fours we can have different rarities of the four of fours that maybe do qualify for additional revenue so we have a lot of different options but that the low-hanging fruit is just a way to incentivize burning and you know and really if you're already in sparkler you're going to want to either add to your sparkler or those that are 3650 uh, are going to get rewarded even more because we see the price of spark going back up again. So uh, does that answer, Jake? I don't know if you maybe want to add to that. But... No, I mean, I think, oh, I think you're right in terms of the uh, the general um, mechanisms of the 404. I think, uh, I think we already have a good... Um, a good implementation coming that all that it maintains the sparkler um, as well as you know a introduces another avenue to burn cedo uh, but I, you know i don't know um i think uh, to be honest i think that question is almost more of like a marketing almost question uh there are there definitely are some things we could do with um the distribution of 404 rewards um you know uh, for example like you mentioned, the rarity, the more rare ones may get higher distributions. Um, I don't know. I, I don't want to, I don't want to make a, an official comment on it, but uh, whoever mentioned that is a, uh, it's a, it's a decent idea. I think it's something we could talk about internally to maybe incentivize people to um, lock, you know, lock more CEDO for, you know, extend their locks or things like that to uh, potentially if you, if you have a lock and, you also own a 404. Maybe that's a different, a different tier of some sort. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. I think that's not it's a good suggestion. Yeah, hundred percent. We again, we we're working on all the details now. I mean, the overall concept we have a great grasp on, but uh, anything that we can do to add a little bit more game game theory or uh, you know uh, uh, yield uh, or incentivization, I mean, we'll definitely look at that for sure. There's a good follow-up question from Jerusik. Is there any way to burn your sparkler stakes? Or will there be any way to burn your sparkler stakes? <laughs> yeah. That's where my head was going, yeah. actually. Uh, I'm sure there is. We have to look. We have to get... Right now, we're, we're, we're figuring out 10,000 images. Because <laughs> that takes forever. Um, but, uh, yeah, once we get down into the, the contract level stuff, um, 
we can definitely try to implement some some cool stuff for sure so yeah we'll uh we'll we'll leave a little bit of, of uh uh suspense uh for that but yeah i think <laughs> we, we can come up with something really cool all right um the next question you already answered it was um have you guys looked into getting into base chains so we'll skip that one um is there any development correlation or collaboration between the upcoming um, GC404 NFT marketplace and EMP Fusion marketplace? Will GSpark404 need a marketplace built out as well? Is L1X Tech going to integrate these marketplaces within the EMP DexFi ecosystem in the future? Man, that's a that's a loaded question. Uh, so I guess. <laughs> Uh, I guess just start by saying, yeah, I mean, we, the, the, the idea is that the EMP fusion marketplace and the C044 marketplace, obviously they're both, uh, at their core NFT marketplaces. So yeah, I mean, the, the development is still one in the same one is a little bit more robust than the other. Uh, and obviously, you know, we still need to combine uh, a lot of things as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, the idea is that it is an all-encompassing NFT marketplace that handles not only traditional, you know, uh, 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 code standards, but also the new 404 uh, NFT standards as well. So uh, what ER71 uh, and, and ER, uh, uh, ERC-404. So, uh, well, I don't even know, I guess technically, our 404s are not ERC 404s, right, Jake? I mean, we we pretty much we've we've engineered our own uh, standard uh, at this rate. So, yeah, I don't I don't know what you call it, uh, but if it was a standard ER, ERC 404, it would work on the marketplaces because that's there's plenty of examples out there. So, in fact, that, you're right. That actually maybe is the official proof that uh, that we have a completely new standard. Um, yeah, hundred percent. I would say. I would say to answer that question simply, uh, yes, I think uh, I think they do complement each other. Um, in fact, um, you know, I, I think you kind of alluded to this, but um, like Fusion, the Fusion Marketplace, um, which is already you know in in Dev uh, and was actually before before the Cedo Marketplace, um, was is a little different. Um, you know, there's for the for the Fusion Marketplace. There's not necessarily it's not like um, mutant apes where you have different traits and things like that. Um, they're kind of different types of batteries and stuff like that, right? So like um, definitely a little different than a full marketplace. Um, so like I said, if anything, it, it just complements each other. We'll be able to add more, combine combine them, the two um, at some point to make it even more robust. Um, and yeah, I mean, of course, uh, like I said, you know, as far as L1X and all that. Um, yeah, of course, it's definitely something that, uh, like I said, it's something we have in the bag now that, um, you know, we can bring anywhere we want. Yep, 100%. So I think that, again, that was a loaded question, but I think that sums it up pretty well. And yeah, to your point with Fusion, I mean, we we also don't want to uh, over-engineer the marketplace. Like, you know, obviously batteries are really what matter, uh, especially in the beginning to get the MVP out, uh, but we can always add more and more uh, functionality to any of the, the, the marketplaces. And that is part yep. of the plan for sure. It's funny how all of the question askers had a uh, very similar frame of mind <laughs> this week. For sure. Or actually, they were last time, uh, last week. We held off until today. So both of you could be on to ask, uh, to answer them. But, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I did remember that I do have one more thing to speak on. Um, Jay actually uh, posted in all of our groups today, um, letting us know that um, there was a new high risk exploit found by Trust Wallet, um, specifically targeting IOS users. Um, so he posted um, a link for a Twitter announcement from Trust Wallet in all of our groups. If you do use Trust Wallet specifically, you need to disable your iMessage if you use an iPhone. 
Um, so please, if you do use Trust Wallet, go and check out the um, the Twitter um, post that Jay Rizzo posted in all of our groups um, so that you can go find out how to protect yourself. Yep, never a dull moment. Uh, so, but yeah, I don't know, I guess, uh, hopefully you're not using Trust Wallet. Anyway, uh, there's a lot better options. Uh, Option. so, uh, they're always, I would, they're I would, always people use it. And... And I would take it a step further. I, I don't even have crypto on my phone and I don't have iMessage on my, on my Macs. For I'm sure. separate. Yeah. Um, I, I only do Telegram on the phone and no crypto on the phone so that I can't click on anything by accident that could lose me all my yeah. money. Yeah, yep. you gotta be super, super careful. So all right, cool. Well yeah, we'll we'll update on that too if we get any more info. But and get yourself a hardware wallet, guys. Uh we've got some links in the uh description uh if you need uh a ledger or a keystone. Hundred percent. All right. Uh, I think that's it, unless either of you have anything else for us. No, I think that was a great overview. A lot of alpha today. Uh it's gonna be a super busy week. Uh, again, I know, you know, uh, the markets are a little volatile, obviously, geopolitically speaking, uh, you know, uh, uh, overall market economy speaking, but we all are here for the incredible gains that we know crypto can provide. And I think we're going to see that happen just right on schedule uh, based on, you know, all the market cycles that we've seen around the happening event uh, going into later this year, early next year, and maybe even, you know, a uh, extended cycle uh, as we approach, you know, six figure uh, Bitcoin. So uh, no, our, I know my permable uh, attitude is, is not changed. So uh, I'm, I'm still uh, as bullish as ever, but uh, all right. Awesome. You know, what's yeah. cool um, that I was thinking about today um, I, I always say to you, like, oh, my God, you bought B&B for whatever price you got it at. What, what did you get it at? Yeah, so I was buying B&B yeah. &B at $8. Yeah, yeah well, um, I was thinking today that um, when it comes to the next happening, maybe, you know, we'll be having a conversation with someone that will be saying, Oh my God, you were able to get ETH at like 2000. You were able to get ETH <laughs> yeah. at 3000. Holy shit. Like, totally. wow. Totally. Like who knows? Like that could be the reality at that point in four years from now. Like, <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So it's kind of a cool thought. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. What, what are your, uh, what are your thoughts, Jake? I know again, from one OG, to another i think we're, we're just getting started right uh, yeah i'm honestly any any red day from here on out i'm i'm looking for opportunities to buy uh you know at post post having um elections coming up tax day is over it's uh it's gonna it's gonna fly soon so this is definitely personally i i think it's probably one of the last opportunities uh yeah i'm not saying it we couldn't get a, a day before crash but um you know, uh, look for look for your opportunities. You know, don't uh, don't get scared at, at these times. Yep, hundred percent. And that is the conviction that you have to have. You know, obviously, we never you know give financial advice or uh, never invest more than you can afford to. But uh, it's times like these that you know it's that calm before the storm. And uh, one final opportunity, uh, we'll we'll see. So. Uh, all right. Awesome. Well, again, thank you all for being here. I think it was a great uh, update. We have a lot coming this week. Uh, stay tuned to all of our socials. Uh, we'll have, again, uh, an update on the UI this week, uh, all the marketplace and uh, uh, vaults on CEO uh, as well. Uh, all of our, again, <laughs> between everything we have going on, uh, a ton of stuff. So uh, keep an eye out. And then we will be back on Thursday for an AMA update. Uh, we come to you every Monday and Thursday at 6.45 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and on that note, uh, Jake, go LA, any final words before we wrap it up? Go ahead. That's it on my end. Lots, just, uh, lots, lots coming up this week. Um, about to get, it's about to get fun. No doubt. It is about to get fun. LA, how about you? 
I'm so excited to uh, get this show on the road uh, even more than we already have. So uh, it's going to be very exciting times coming up. Uh, as we said, launch season. Um, and uh, I think all of us are always the happiest when we've got a lot going on. So uh, very happy times ahead. Yes, 100%. So we are again uh, almost there. And the next announcement in terms of Fusion will be an actual date. We're uh, simultaneously working on the testing. And uh, once we're 100% confident that we can take that date, we are ready to roll. So, uh, all right. I appreciate all of you for being here. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, also, please share this video with uh, anybody in your network that wants to get an update on what we're building. And uh, we will see you all on Thursday. Good night. Good day. Have a great week, everybody.